WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of, well, windy, rainy, and cold. That's right. It is cold here in Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We've got uh, most of the indices trading to the upside. Dow's up 53 points. S&P 7, NASDAQ 135, about two-tenths percent for the NASDAQ. Russell's down two points. Trannies are up 59. Semis are up 10. You've got gold trading off six bucks. Silver's down 15 cents, six-tenths of a percent move there. Light three crude is off 46 pennies. Natural gas up 11 cents. Big move there. 254 is where it's printing. 30 year treasuries off six ticks. She's printing out 125, 22. Let's figure out what all that means by taking a look at that nine panel. Market update chart, we begin with the ES Mini, up the left-hand side. What do we know? Well, we know that price is trading above the top of its daily profile. It's on its way to 48.93. That's 1.272 expansion of its last set of swing points. That being said, if we get a bearish reversal candle, it will confirm a road momentum indicator top. And that's something to really be paying attention to as we enter the end of the year. If we take a look at the spot volatility, it's still below its 50-day exponential moving average. Things don't get romping and rolling until price closes above the 50-day. That's currently printed at 13.96. The NQ wants to target the 17.699 level. That's a 1.618 expansion of its last set of swing points but like the es mini if it does generate a bearish reversal candle it too will confirm a roads momentum indicator top we take a look at the u.s dollar index <clears throat> it looks horrible it sort of is horrible in other words it's got an a to b equal cd to the downside suggesting a move to 99.33 or more likely 98.09 but i say be careful out there why because although it doesn't show on these charts there is a roads momentum indicator signal and if we get a bullish reversal candle there, we're likely to see a move higher. If we take a look at Goldilocks, gold formed a TD9 count top yesterday, completes that pattern today. Price should pull back to test the top of its profile. That's at the 2062 level. Silver is just consolidating with inside its profile. That's between the range of 2390 at support and 2479 as resistance. Light sweet crude is pulling back. It formed a TD9 count top and is likely to pull back to its oscillator and change on. I don't have that on this set of charts here, but we can most certainly take a look at that during the Trader's Edge show. Lights we crude, not lights we crude, natural gas is trading above. It's been above the top of its daily profile. This will be session number five. It likely indicates a further move higher. Now, we do know that natural gas forms a bottom January, uh, February of the typically over its seasonal cycles out there. So we'll pay attention to natural gas. The 30 year treasury traded above profile resistance. Add is 1.620 expansion of its A to B equals CD pattern. That's up at 125 and change. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you have to start your Thursday, have a terrific one. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.